Something good. Oklahoma getting ready to celebrate Juneteenth. And here in the Metro, there's plenty to do. Our own Mike Glover tells us something good. The Juneteenth Music and Arts Festival is this Saturday, and this year, as in past years, it's all about community. So I'm thinking it's probably 23 or 24 years that I can recall that we've been doing it consistently as far as celebrating Juneteenth. Held at Washington Park at 4th and High, the festival showcases all types of local talent. Whether it's R&B and gospel, the gospel explosion, uh, jazz, spoken word, so we'll have every genre of music. The festival also provides a stage and platform for Oklahomans not involved with music. It's embracing the culture and it's highlighting and spotlighting not only local entrepreneurs, uh, artists, uh, vendors. Terry says Juneteenth is about moving forward. Celebrating our culture and where we're at right now and not reflecting on the pain of slavery but looking forward the freedom that we're experiencing right now. And a big part of the festival every year is the Soul Awakening Awards. Let's spotlight some individuals in the community that's doing some great things with Teacher of the Year, uh, Entrepreneur of the Year, uh, Public Servant of the Year. And this year, there's an added twist to the recognition. This year, the inaugural year, we're actually spotlighting local artists, uh, hip hop, R&B, gospel, as well as a couple of local producers. National artist DJ Quick will perform with, of course, lots of games and fun for the kids. It's totally free. It's totally free. You want to bring some money and buy a snow cone or whatever, but it's totally free all day long. Stay hydrated because it's going to be a hot one. Now, again, the festival is this Saturday from 10 a.m. to about 7 p.m. It's a family event with plenty of food trucks and vendors. I'm Mike Glover for Oklahoma's own News 9. Nice job.